Hello YouTube people. Today I want to show you a very, very beautiful watch. This Pagani design watch. I personally like it very, very much. It's it's one of the best looking watches I have ever seen. And the bracelet and the watch is just mm, so sweet, so sweet. So I'll, I want to tell you a little story about this watch. Uh, this is, I believe, a version 2. I bought this watch when the golden version was not available yet. Anyway, and there wasn't uh weren't too many youtube reviews out yet so i watched them all and surprisingly most of them were actually negative and i was really doubting myself buying this watch but i just couldn't resist it looks so nice in the pictures so i just bought it i just bought it even though reviews are negative but the stupid thing is why those reviews were negative is actually stupid in my opinion that, that that's just uh, the reason being is that this watch doesn't look exactly like the watch it makes a homage of. And that's the reason why people were angry on this watch. Oh, it doesn't look like Omega Speedmaster good enough. I mean, come on, guys, seriously? How, how nicely put this? You should be happy that it looks different. The more different it looks like, the more unique it looks like, the happier you should be. I mean, the, the major reason why I'm buying these homage watches is because there isn't anything else to choose from with what, what would be under 100 euros with sapphire crystal ceramic bezel, good movement, well built, super nice looking. What can I choose? Only on the homage watches, honestly. And when I wear a homage watch, I do feel a little bit of guilt because it's like Pagani design, but I, in my mind, it translates like stolen design. I shouldn't say that on YouTube, but I whatever I speak what I think. So yeah, stolen design. I mean, how is this even legal? I just have no idea. I mean, just make a comparison. For example, let's take a car. For example, one of my favorite cars, Mercedes S-Class. Okay, let's take Mercedes S-Class and let's say some kind, uh, some company in Ch in China decides to make exact copy. They make exact copy. All the grills, headlamps, everything is just exact copy the only thing different is the brand name and that it's 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 not combustion engine it's full electric okay fine but the brand name for that mercedes homage omega design how about that it's like you know thinking of brand name pagani design it's like pagani makes cars and now pagan design is watches so like omega makes watches now omega design makes homage cars to the mercedes it's like how brain dead you have to be to come up with such a stupid brand name to be honest and now pagani design has legal problems selling their watches in europe they they they, they have to change the name to the pagrani design pagarani is something like that it's, it's completely stupid anyway as long as it's legal i just take the advantage of the situation and enjoy nice watches because pagarani design or pagani design they make wonderful wonderful watches especially for the price point it's just ridiculous how can they even make such a watch for uh, around 100 euros is i have no idea sapphire crystal which is domed ceramic bezel 100 meters hold on a second is it really 100 meters water yeah 100 meters of water resistance beautiful engraving on the case back such a beautiful watch and such a beautiful bracelet I mean, what Pagan Design is doing is just insane. For the price point, it's just insane. I love them. I love them. <laughs> I, say, <clears throat> I say bad things about them, but I love their watches. <laughs> anyway, let's, you know what? Let's start with the measurements uh, later on. I'll, so, uh, I'll show you how this watch looks like on different straps. Let's do the measurements. I, and I want to compare these two watches because they do feel rather similar on the wrist, except this one feels a little bit top heavy. It doesn't feel too big on my wrist, it's just a little bit top heavy. So how much does this one weigh? 62 grams, and this one is 66 grams. So weight difference is not really that, that big. Let's measure the watch. Let's measure these watches. So the major thing is that this one is just 11.5 in thickness 
while this one is wow 13.9 in thickness so that's why this one feels a little bit top heavy and yeah the belly is sticking out a little bit more sapphire crystal is a little bit sticking out and the case itself is a little bit thicker yeah so it's yeah but it still feels fine now lug width is the same 20 millimeters but lug to lug distance maybe maybe the blue one is longer this is 47.9 and this one is if i can get it right because they just are rather sharp is hold on a second is it really shorter no freaking way hold on a second it's it's basically the same lock to lock distance hmm that's kind of surprising now the bezel size the bezel that's how i measure chronographs 39.5 and this one i believe about 40 yeah it's about 40 millimeters and it does appear a little bit bigger because the bezel itself is a little bit thinner not as wide as this one so this one has dial a little bit smaller than this one so this one appears a little bit larger even though it's bigger only just by half of a millimeter by the way pay attention i'm not trying to clean these watches and you know what because of the white dial you don't really see fingerprints that easily that's why i really like watches with white dial well it, if i try hard you can really see fingerprints but overall on the black dial watch you you just couldn't look at the watch all all you would see would be fingerprints but bright dial is just it's just great for that so anyway let's put them aside let's compare the bracelets by the way really quickly this blue pagani comes with this strap as well and it's rather nice i'll show you later on how it looks on the watch itself it has this nice pagan design engraving very good hardware holes heat treated it's it's pretty good this one is pretty good doesn't look as nice on this watch i'll show you later it looks a lot better on blue straps anyway let's throw it aside now the bracelet and first of all let's start with the clasp this clasp is you know it's it's a bit controversial because it's a little bit tricky to open but once you close it up it's very secure and it, it doesn't make any unwanted noise really when wearing this watch but opening up and closing it's a little bit tricky micro adjustments it's very tricky to micro adjust and also has micro ext extension and it comes with very sharp edges this one this one however is i would say it's a better finished but when i close it it makes a little bit more jangly noise not too much not too bad but it's a little bit more loose than another one and this one is finished a lot better it has rounded up edges and micro adjustments are very easy and it's very easy to close and, and open yeah I, I really like this brace this clasp and it does have extension but i wouldn't call it micro i don't know why they even bothered putting this on it's just it's ridiculous i mean i do find this extension useful sometimes in a hot day i sometimes use it to loosen the watch on my wrist is perfect amount of of uh, sizing but this one is just oh come on who who would ever use it it's really ridiculous anyway anyway the bracelet itself the bracelet itself this one feels very good very solid it feels expensive looks expensive it's a very good solid feeling bracelet this however it definitely feels like it like it is made out of more parts hold on a second i'll take the end links off that, that's how you take them off they're they're held on by by the pin like this this one as well i, I take them off before i lose them so yeah this one is made out of many different parts and it definitely feels like that because they all are a little bit loose and hold on i'll put next to the microphone yeah it, it's a little bit jangly not too bad 
and edges this one is finished a little bit better edges are a little bit better this one is a little bit sharp all over those parts but it is so beautiful it is so beautiful i can't wait to show you how it looks like on a watch it's like you could wear this bracelet alone it's like some kind of a jewelry i really like this kind of this style of a bracelet yes. so let's start with the original nylon strap it does look nice it definitely looks nice but one thing with this watch i don't really like how it sits with nylon straps on the wrist it's a little bit elevated but surprisingly stable can't really complain it just looks like it's uncomfortable but in reality it's it's pretty good it's pretty good and looks nice oh my gosh this watch is so beautiful it's such a beautiful watch i like it so much okay let's try another strap this is another nylon strap except this one is blue you see blue watch blue strap you don't really see that much on the video it's a little bit too dark i guess i'll, I'll make more shots uh, in the balcony with sunlight well not sunlight but with brighter light you will see how it looks like better i just wanted to do those shots in the mirror me personally i like these shots the best by the way look those are my cat's pictures <laughs> and yes i'm using camcorder I like these shots the best because they just, you know what, they show you the whole picture, how this, how watch looks like on a person, like in real world, in the real life, that's how you would see this watch. The original bracelet. I can't express you well enough how beautiful it looks like and how well it fits the character of this watch. It is just incredible. Sorry for the sound, I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is drinking water right now. Alex, you drinking water? He's a pretty boy. Sorry for distractions anyway. Oh my god, oh my god, just look at this watch. Just look at this watch. I'm so happy how it looks like. It's, it's insane. It's insane. This watch is so beautiful. And those sharp edges uh, that i mentioned you only feel when you take the watch off or put it on because of these nice micro adjustments you can get it dialed in just right so that the watch is not too tight not too loose so you don't feel those sharp edges or anything and when it sits nicely it's, it doesn't make any jangly noise i mean this is just wonderful absolutely wonderful love it love it love it Jeez, just look how beautiful it looks like. I mean, guys, do you see that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I just love this watch. Really thinking about the golden one as well. Wow. You know what? Let's go outside into the balcony. Let's do some shots in a better light. Jesus, just look at this. Hold on, I'll open the window. Let's get outside. Sorry for the noise. There is a uh, main road going on. Anyway. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Just look at it. I don't even know why I show you how this watch looks like on different straps. But... Oh my god, just take a better look. You know what? Let's take me. Let me take it off. Look like this this is so good okay, okay just want to show you it up close once again take a better look because this watch is just beautiful i i i think it it is a little bit too big for me on my wrist to be honest my wrist is 16.5 centimeters and this watch even though it does feel comfortable i have no comfort problems with this watch but it does look a little bit too large for me yeah but my gosh it is so beautiful that i don't even care it is so beautiful you know what let's take it off my wrist let's take a better look up close this case is so beautiful it's like a uh, watch i could compare it to is casio edifice casio edifice makes case cases like this so just the reason alone that i mentioned 
Pagan design and edifice in the same sentence is just crazy good. Although I wish finishing on the case was a little bit softer. It's a little bit too sharp, especially on this on the list lower lower place. This edge is a little bit sharp. But overall this is just so beautiful. Take a better look at the dial. I love it. I love all the colors. Blue hands. My gosh. I'm really impressed by the look of this watch. I'm really impressed. And I like that those pushers don't have any screws. You just whenever you need just push it and it goes. You stop it, reset it. I like it a lot. Although the crown itself is actually a screw down crown. Yeah, it's a screw down crown interestingly it has you know looking at these pushers there are clear holes around them how is it 100 meters water resistance i don't know but it probably is i don't know i don't know anyway let's get to the conclusions anyway the conclusions are very simple for this watch where does it go on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where I rate watches into different tier lists it's definitely a keeper. This watch is wonderful. It's, it's, it goes into keepers, no doubt about that. It could have a little bit softer edges around the bracelet, around the case, but other than that, I really like this watch. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.